now joined uh, by our business today editor Rajiv Dobe, also Kamalji Sandhu joining me live. I want to first come uh, to uh, Rajiv, to you because how much of this is going to bring relief? Because it was a strict lockdown for the services, for industries. How are you looking at these guidelines? No, partial relief only. Uh, see, basically the whole idea it seems is that export related industries continue industries which are uh, continuous process industries like chemical industries like oil and gas steel plants which don't have too many workers in the plants those continue and also you know activities such as uh, agriculture and uh, animal husbandry uh, fisheries which have a lot of people employed and uh, earning livelihood out of those industries they continue so uh, especially because especially with agriculture because uh, uh, harvesting is over in many of the states for instance uh, gujarat is 100% over 70% in practically in uh, madhya pradesh uh, punjab is starting from 15th of april so it was critical that all those sectors were opened up fully uh, so that those activities continue otherwise there would have been a complete lockdown there and related to those are things like uh, uh, you know yes. uh, cold storages uh, food processing industries uh, packaging industries which are then required to feed into the FMCG industry which is open, uh, pharmaceutical industry which is open. So all those sectors uh, to wherever, whatever extent uh, as okay. SMEs are involved, in, uh, for instance in packaging SMEs are involved, all those have been I think well calibrated. Uh, in my view, the whole uh, demand by the, uh, by the, uh, the yes. you know, uh, big associations asking for opening up of factories was impractical. Uh, because uh, there is no uh, there's no demand there's no consumption in many of the industries demand has fallen as much as 90 percent in so many industries so what would you do by opening up factories when there is no consumption when okay. there is no demand okay. that, you will yes. only end up producing things and keeping them in factories or in supply chains all right because, because yes, the there, there's a connect yes correct there's a connect to it all as well and if the showrooms are shut where would all the produce go that's that's interesting rajiv i request you to stay on with me kamaljeet sandhu also joining me kamaljeet the minister of home affairs clearly has gone with varied guidelines here opening some of the industries restricting still a lot of gatherings like uh, educational institutions religious places how precisely do you think they have considered the options to ensure partial relief and yet a lockdown? We have one has to understand this is 20 days of lockdown has yes. already been extended now. Uh, so pre-existing guidelines did exist and most of them have been reiterated now. Now one of the key concerns is the migrant labor and we saw scenes in Surat, in Mumbai, cause of concern. Uh, there have been reports coming in from JNK, from West Bengal that there is a violation of lockdown. Uh, that remains a key concern. What do you do with such migrant labors? And these are people in organ unorganized sectors. Uh, they're in the bottom of the pyramid. Uh, for them, uh, earning every single day, their livelihood is impacted. Uh, so the government has to ensure uh, that not only uh, are they staying in safe places, but they are ensured uh, their daily means of livelihood. Uh, this is where a cause of concern is. Now, larger po point and onus and responsibility has been put by the center on the states as well as union territories. Now, this is something which has to be ensured because remember, the lockdown can only be successful if everybody is actually practicing social distancing. Now, remember, these are not ideal conditions and India is especially not in an ideal condition. Now, whatever has happened is that the economy is impacted, uh, but there would be a jump start much later on. But as of now, some relaxation has been given based on uh, decisions which have been made in the past 20 days. And remember, uh, there's been an empowered group of ministers who on basis of uh, inputs from the secretaries of various departments who've been in touch with various states. Uh, this is also peak agricultural harvest season in various states, uh, especially in the north states of uh, Punjab, Haryana, Rajasthan. Uh, there is also an, an immediate issue of labor in certain states. Uh, so all this has to be accounted for. 130 crore Indians have not only to be supplied food to, okay. they have to ensure this entire lockdown ensures that the entire supply lines are moving. Now, there were reports coming in that there are trucks which have been held up in various parts of the country. Uh, these truck drivers are dependent on dhabas, on uh, clothes, and many of them have left their trucks. So they have actually had reports coming in. But remember, this is a learning process for center. This is obviously an agony pariksha. This is a test of fire for both for center and state, especially as far as governance is concerned, because it's only in times of adversity, uh, adversity and in crisis. Uh, remember, most of the people 
people who are going to go out there uh, first line uh, the front line workers and all the agriculture and it sectors and others they have to ensure that one there is movement and the other is that there is social distancing and third and larger responsibility is uh, what really happens now onwards so that is there okay. but again a learning process at this point of time for a country as big yes. as ours uh, this is going to be not business as usual but people have okay. to accommodate and i remember uh, when we were talking about uh, hot zone containment zones a stricter guideline for lockdown there but it's uh, one of those things where as per the federal structure center and state have to work extremely closely all right uh, stay on with me kamal ji i want to go back to rajiv dubey rajiv uh, we we've seen the scenes of so many migrant workers thronging the streets for reasons primarily uh, ranging from not having a job and then also the desperation to go back home so do you think in this respect more industries could have been opened however there the reason that the government opted not to open all industries as well no frankly i don't think there was an there, there was either an option or uh, yes. or a need need for opening many of the industries because uh, like i said there is no demand in the market so unless demand centers are open unless there are showrooms open malls open people go and buy and consume uh, there is uh, there is no you know there is no need for factories to be open as, uh, except for things factories which are only catering to export market because domestic market demand is down by up to 90% in many of the sectors in commercial vehicles for instance demand is down 90% 50% in uh, in automobiles consumer durable demand is down um, uh, phone demand is down so what would you do producing these things unless you are only making uh, you know exporting them uh, so this is uh, this is consistent with uh, you know these two two things are tied up if there okay. is no if there's no if the production center is open and demand centers are not open it is of no consequence it's not going to help in any way uh, the factories in fact it's going to be harmful for the companies because they will end up using up that cash that they have in their hands uh, to uh, it will get tied up into material and products that they will yes. produce which will not get sold and so the cycle okay. of uh, of um, you know this uh, this uh, demand and supply will stop and cycle of earning and uh, and consuming will also stop all right to so some level so uh, yes some industries opening e-commerce services are also resuming so at least some good news coming in uh, for a few sectors as well rajiv dubey kamaljit sandhu thank you so much for bringing us all the update